Hey guys, welcome back to our Urban Homestead. My name is Chelsea and we're back in the kitchen today. I'm gonna to be doing a recipe I saw um, Miss Lori over at Whipperwill Holler make and that was her Lunchroom Lady Peanut Butter Bars. We love peanut butter, like peanut butter cookies, peanut butter pie, that's our jam. So I'm gonna try these out. It's a really cold, snowy day, and I've got a sweet tooth, which doesn't happen very often. So I thought these would be perfect to make. So come along, let's get going. All right, so for starters, I've got two sticks of butter and a cup and a half of peanut butter here that I just melted on the stove. It's like, I just want to drink this right here. <laughs> um, melt it on the stove. We're going to set that aside. And then we need, now this is not a healthy recipe, you guys. <laughs> I don't think anything I make is really healthy. Uh, one and a half cups of white sugar. A half a cup of brown sugar. You're okay. I'm Bye, honey. I love you. Have a, please be careful. I'll try. Be safe. Um, a half a cup of brown sugar. One and a half teaspoons of salt, which I did not get. Yes. Not prepared. Oh, that would have been really bad. <laughs> oh my goodness. We're off to a great start, you guys. There we go. <laughs> Teaspoons of salt. And we're just going to kind of mix this together real quick. All right, I love you. Text me when you get there, please. What? Text me when you get there, please. Did you get your gloves? Yeah. Okay. Our daughter is on her way to work. And then a heaping tablespoon of vanilla. So we're going to guesstimate that. That looks like a heaping tablespoon. And you want to mix that together. If any of you have never checked out Miss Lori over at Whipple, Whipple that's such a tongue twister for me. Whipper Will Holler, I suggest you do. Her recipes are fabulous. I have made several of them and they never disappoint. And I just, I just love watching her in the kitchen. She is by far my favorite YouTube channel. Then we're gonna do four eggs, and she did hers one egg at a, mixed it in one egg at a time. So that's what I'm gonna do. Our daughter, <laughs> you know, she's 18 now. And she works at a local supermarket that's like right across the street from us. And it's snowing pretty hard today. And she says, uh, mom, are you going to give me a ride to work? And I said, no, it's like right across the street. <laughs> She's like, yeah, but you're going to make me walk in these conditions. I'm like, uh, yeah, <laughs> you'll be all right. A little bit disappointed. I'm like, you're not a little baby anymore. You can walk across the street for crying out loud. So two eggs. Three eggs. Our chickens have slowed way, way down. Hardly getting any eggs. I'm going to have to break into my water glass to egg soon. My egg 
number four. Yeah, the chickens were reading me the riot act when I went to go let them out this morning. They do not like snow at all. I can open up the door for them to come out and they take one step out and then they go right back in. They're like, uh, no. A couple of them will eat the snow, but <laughs> chickens are funny. All right, then we're gonna take our peanut butter and butter mixture. Oh, you guys, this smells so good. Mm -hmm. Yum. How can this not be good, right? And it's, I mean, a super simple recipe. There's not really any really nothing to it. And then two cups of um, sifted flour. This has an icing that goes on top of it too. Oh, I can't wait for that. Miss Lori did not make a big mess like I do. <laughs> She's much more graceful than I am. Just want to mix it until there's no more flour. Okay. Then I've got this pan, it's been greased. So she said these are more like a, they're like a bar. They're not gonna puff up a whole lot, like a, like a cookie bar. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. All right, these are gonna bake at 350 until they're done, you know, stick a, a little tester in it. And I'll bring you guys back when they come out, gringo, get down. <laughs> I just pulled these out. Oh my goodness, they smell so amazing. I cannot wait for these bad boys. Miss Lori, thank you. <laughs> oh, these are gonna be amazing. I can already tell. All right, I'm gonna let these cool for just a moment. Um, and then we're going to make the icing that goes on top of them. It's like a glaze and, uh, I'm going to let these cool for about 15 minutes. She said not to let them cool all the way down. So, um, I'll see you guys in just a few. Okay. So I got those cooling for a little while and I'm just going to use the same pot that I melted the butter and the peanut butter in. I don't figure that there is really any sense dirtying another pan. So for the glaze, <clears throat> one quarter cup of peanut butter. She said about a teaspoon of vanilla. 
And then to start, you're gonna use, I think she said the whole recipe was like three, three tablespoons of milk. I, and then she just had started with about one. And then you just kind of like want to melt this together. It doesn't take long, apparently. And then you're also going to need one cup of powdered sugar. I cannot wait to try these, you guys. Oh, I can't wait. All right, I'm gonna add just a smidge more. You guys probably can't see. Mm-hmm. Do you guys like peanut butter? Yes, we love it. All right, so this is the consistency of it and that is not quite loose enough, I don't think. So I'm gonna add, I'm turn my heat off. Add a scotch more milk. I think I'm gonna get my whisk out because we have to add this powdered sugar. So it's not supposed to be like a frosting, it's like a glaze. Oh, that looks, that looks much better. I'll show you guys. might have to add just a bit more milk once we get the powdered sugar in. One cup. Should have probably sifted my powdered sugar. It was packed pretty tightly into my canister. Oh well, what are you gonna do? Still gonna taste good. <laughs> Beautiful consistency. Okay. You guys see what I'm doing over here? Yeah. And then just spread this on top. Oh, I seriously cannot wait for dessert. I don't make dessert often. Some people make dessert like every meal. Mm -mm. I'm not a big sweets person. Oh yeah, that, you guys, this is gonna be so good. All right, and then we're just gonna let this cool completely. bring y'all back when it's time to taste it. <laughs> we are going to lick this spatula though. We got to taste, we got to taste the glaze, right? It's for science purposes, right? <laughs> <laughs> I 
I could cry. That is so, so good. Okay, I may or may not have <laughs> already tasted them. Oh, you guys. So good. <laughs> you have to try this recipe very easy and super delicious thanks again miss lori over at whipper wheel holler i got it right that time wasn't a tongue twister um you guys go check her channel out. She's amazing. Her food is amazing. Um, yeah, I gotta make dinner now. I'm having my dessert before dinner. <laughs> so as always guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, drop me a comment, and uh, until next time, from our family to yours, abundance and blessings to you. Bye-bye.